Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners and in this video, I will show you 3 free ways to add before and after image comparison slider to your WordPress website, just like this one. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Method 1, the old school WordPress way. Just search for before, after, image, that's the exact keyword that, sh that you should type. And don't worry if you don't find the plugin, I'll also leave a link to that in the description. So it's this 2020 image before after by Zaid Baloch. Install and activate the plugin. And once you do, you can open the classic WordPress interface. And you can click on add 2020. And it will ask you to pick two images. Of course, pick two images of same resolution that you want to compare. Click on insert. And you can also add a before and after text that will appear on the images itself. So offset, the position where you want the slider to start and the direction, if you want it in the vertical, you can do it and just click on insert short code. So you can preview the changes by clicking on the preview button here and it will open up that particular post or page wherever you added the short code and it's loading. Yeah. So this is how it will look like you have your before and after text. So you can click and drag the slider to compare both images. and you can also paste this anywhere you want. You can also paste this same short code into DV Builder. Wherever there's text, you can paste this. You can also paste it into Visual Composer or anywhere there's text. So you can also paste it into an Elementor template. So let me click on a section and let me add short code widget here. I want to paste that short code here too. And you can, of course, click on this Preview Changes button to see how that slider looks like in your Elementor template. So this is my Elementor template and this is the preview. So here's my slider. So just like that, you can click and drag the slider to compare both images. And this is my usual Elementor screen. So that's how you insert it. And apart from the old school classic way, using the same plugin, you can also do it in the Elementor visual way. The same plugin is also available to you in the Elementor widget section. So must be, yeah, it's here. It's under this general category. So you can click and drag this. And instead of old school WordPress way, you can do it the visual way. So you can again pick two images, before image, after image. And then of course add before text. So I'll say before. I'll say after and also direction offset and I'll click on update. So once you update, you can also preview how that looks like. It's basically the same plugin. So don't worry, except you're doing it in the vis Elementor visual way. That's so here it is and it's working perfectly fine. Do note that as this plugin offers a lot of functionality it also adds a bit of load on your website i'm not saying a lot of load but yes it does as it's offering short codes and stuff like that it needs to load up resource everywhere on every page so second method using another add-on which is built for elementor you just need to type before after image the same keyword and again i'll leave a link to this in the description so don't worry so once you type before and after you get this before and after image comparison slider for Elementor. So this is what you should click on install and activate. And once you do, that add-on will be available to you in the Elementor visual interface. So it's at the end of it, it's this web builders element. So click and drag it. And again, you have your usual visual slider thing going on and this plugin actually offers real-time preview so it's a bit more intuitive to work with and again you can choose whatever you want and you have all your elemental properties and note that this is a lightweight plugin and when you try to drag the slider in the elemental preview screen 
it's not possible because Elementor is thinking that you're trying to rearrange the particular widget instead of actually clicking the slider. So you need to click on preview change and once the preview page loads, which is basically how your page will look like to the end user or the visitor of your website, you can test your slider. So it's working perfectly fine again. Or with this plugin, you can also close the preview screen and test this out. So it's the slider is here. So you can click and drag it wherever you want and see how that looks like. You can either minimize the Elementor workflow screen and preview the image or just click on preview so that you can peacefully preview the image. So that's method two. So method three, this is actually an add-on for Elementor. So the keyword here is to search for Elementor under plugins. So just click on plugins, add new and search for Elementor. And it's this one, Elementor add-on elements by web text street. That's the plugin I'm talking about. So once you install that, there'll be a separate panel for Elementor add-on element. Scroll quickly onto the bottom of the screen where you find Elementor add-on elements. And here you find your Elementor add-on elements before after image. Just click and drag it into your interface. Pick your before image. After image. And the separator can be an icon. So you can pick an icon from here. So you can pick this one. You can't test the slider here. So just click on preview. And once the preview loads, you can test your particular slider. So it's this one right here. So that's method three. And here's a quick tip. If you're using this slider on many places on your website, you can simply right click on the slider and you can choose save as global. And that will basically save your slider as a global widget. And among these three methods, if you ask me to pick my personal favorite, I'll pick method two because it's intuitive and lightweight. And unlike other add-ons in method one and method three, method two is a standalone add-on. Again, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you're just looking for a slider, you can go with method two. And if you're looking to insert it anywhere in other areas of your WordPress, where Elementor is not accessible, then you can go with method one. Method three, of course, is an Elementor add-on. So that's my thought on it. And what about yours? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for now. And hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.